Welcome! In this lecture, we will talk about equations in PowerPoint. I will tell you how to select them, how to add new elements, and how to animate them. Let's go! Equations in PowerPoint can be inserted by going to Insert, and on the right side where we have symbols, we can go into Equations. We can pre-select a couple of the most popular ones. Let's select this complicated one, put it here on the bottom, and let's select certain elements. You can directly write new elements or delete existing elements. You can directly select certain letters, or if I click on this root, you can see it is selecting this entire equation. I could delete it at once, or I could, by clicking precisely, delete individual elements of it. All right, let's show you how to add items. Once you are inside of an equation, there is a new feature popping up in PowerPoint, not just selecting a shape, but equation. And in equation, you can basically add any symbol or what's more important, any mathematical equation you would like. For example, fractions or all the other options you have here. Let's select that I want an accent and I want a large operator like a sum here. Okay, I could type in something I wanted and this way I would build my equation. I can add new elements just by selecting them here within PowerPoint. One important note, you can type in in a professional mathematical way or in a linear way if this would be any way more suitable for you. Luckily, PowerPoint can do this automatically for you. On the left top side, you have, you have professional and linear. You can convert it to linear or you can convert it back to professional. This is very, very useful. Now, the most difficult thing is to animate that because we have no feature in PowerPoint to directly animate this. But I have two workarounds. Workaround number one is to simply present your presentation. I'm pressing Shift F5 and using the pen. Of course, using the pen or highlighter would make it easier to explain this to your students. You can highlight certain items. You can, for example, box them in. You can draw something. And this way you could start to type in here as you please. This would be option number one, in my opinion. Option number two is to discard those changes. Option number two would be to duplicate this slide on the left side, delete certain elements. For example, I would delete this part, then I would duplicate and maybe delete the left part. I know this, this makes no sense, but I have now three slides. I need to reposition them where with each slide, something new appears. And this would basically be my animation. I would select fade as my transition. I would enter this slide. And now I would slowly animate new things into this equation by selecting the new slide. I think using the pen would be more suitable, but we have to work with what we have. So this is how you can use equations, add equations, and possibly uh, animate equations a little bit within PowerPoint. I hope this will be very useful. Thank you much for listening to this lecture.